In the city of London, there lived a little girl named Wendy who loved fairy tales. Wendy had two playful younger brothers named John and Michael. Here, Captain Hook, take this. Peter Pan, one day I will catch you. Wendy's two brothers were playing Peter Pan and Captain Hook. Suddenly, the window burst open and a strange boy jumped into the room. It was Peter Pan, who could fly like the wind and never grow old. Peter Pan was searching for his shadow that had run away from him. Wendy, who truly believed in fairy tales, was very happy to see Peter Pan. Suddenly, someone from behind pulled Wendy's hair. It was Tinkerbell, the fairy that came with Peter Pan. Wendy caught Peter Pan's shadow and attached it to Peter Pan's heels. Peter Pan invited Wendy and her two younger brothers to the place where he lived, Neverland. Neverland is a children's paradise where people dream about and no one there ever grows old. Tinkerbell sprinkled sparkling dust on Wendy and the boys and they were able to fly in the sky. Peter Pan led the way through the sky all night and the children finally arrived in Neverland. But what is that on the shore? Captain Hook's ship was waiting for the crew on the shore. Captain Hook fired cannons in the sky and attacked Peter Pan. He wanted revenge against Peter Pan, who had cut off his hand and thrown it to the crocodiles. But Peter Pan easily flew away from him. Tinkerbell wanted to play a trick on Wendy and the boys. She lied to the children, saying that bad people were invading Neverland. The children at Neverland started to throw stones at Wendy. Wendy was hit by the stones and almost fell to the ground. Peter Pan got very angry with Tinkerbell. Tinkerbell grumbled and flew away. Wendy went to the sea to see mermaids with Peter Pan. They were listening to the mermaids singing. Then, Peter Pan saw Captain Hook kidnapping the Indian chief's daughter. Captain Hook was tormenting the chief's daughter to find out Peter Pan's whereabouts. Peter Pan bravely flew to Captain Hook. Captain Hook slipped as he tried to catch Peter Pan and fell off the cliff. Arr! Please save me! 
The crocodiles were waiting viciously with their mouths wide open at the bottom of the cliff. Peter Pan saved the Indian chief's daughter and took her to her village. The village held a big celebration party for the chief's daughter's safe return. Everyone was happy and they danced and sang all night. Meanwhile, Tinkerbell was alone in the woods. She felt that Peter Pan was angry with her because of Wendy and she started to hate Wendy. Then, suddenly something covered her head and Tinkerbell could not see anything. It was one of Captain Hook's followers who captured Tinkerbell with his hat. Captain Hook distorted Tinkerbell's mind and she disclosed Peter Pan's hideout. Captain Hook put Tinkerbell in a glass jar and went off to catch Peter Pan. Wendy was singing lullabies to her younger brothers in the hut. Wendy's brothers were captured while trying to find the way home outside the hut. <laughs> Peter Pan, you are next. Captain Hook cried out with an evil laugh while taking away Wendy and her brothers. The children were taken to Captain Hook's ship when Peter Pan was asleep. Tinkerbell overheard the pirate's trap and she escaped by breaking the glass jar. Tinkerbell told Peter Pan that the children were in danger. Wendy was tied to the mast. Captain Hook told the boys that if they became his men, he would spare their lives. John and Michael were so scared and shivered like scapegoats. No need to be afraid. I am here to rescue you all. Peter Pan said loudly as he flew onto the deck of the ship. Take this! Yeah! Captain Hook pulled out his long sword and attacked Peter Pan. Wendy and the boys were encouraged by Peter Pan and started to fight the pirates too. Peter Pan cornered Captain Hook to the edge of the ship and Captain Hook fell off into the sea. A roving crocodile rose above the sea and swallowed Captain Hook. Captain Hook's men realized their defeat, got in boats and ran away. children shouted with joy. Wendy, I will take you all home. Peter Pan winked at Tinkerbell and she sprinkled her sparkling dust over all the ship. 
and the ship soared high into the sky. The sight of Neverland, the village, and the mermaid slowly faded away. Wendy and the children raised their hands and waved. Goodbye, Neverland, the land of dreams and fairy tales. Goodbye.